Hey guys, how are you doing? In this video, I'll tell you how to upload documents after getting the invitation to apply for Express Entry of Canada. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got so many videos on the immigration process. Also, I do upload videos regularly every week, so if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, it's so important to realize the importance of the documents. Your documents should be arranged in a proper way and they should be uploaded to the IRCC website in the simplest way possible. Okay, if you actually, you know, mess it up with the documents or you arrange it arrange them in the complicated way then in that case the investigating officer might come back to you again asking for his documents and this process might take some time maybe a couple of more, more months even so it's very important to arrange those documents and upload it in the simplest way possible so I'll tell you in this video how you should do it after you get the ITA you can log in into your Express Entry profile. You will see two buttons over there. The first one would be to continue the application and the second one would be to decline the application. If you click on continue application button, which of course you should click. So in that case, you would get to see all those buttons where, from which you can upload those documents. Now, obviously, because I've got my application in, is complete totally so I cannot you know show you the demo of that but I found a way to tell you to demonstrate to you how you should actually you know arrange your documents and then upload it to the IRCC website so let's begin now what I've done here is I've tried to divide all those documents into certain categories and these are the categories exactly in the way uh, IRCC website asks you so they ask you your digital photograph, your educational documents, your employment documents, a letter of explanation, marriage, a divorce certificate, medical certificate, passport, police certificate and the proof of funds. So I've tried to divide you know these into uh, these kind of categories and you should also do it in the same way so that you know you don't mess it up. Just try to make folders like these so that it will be easier for you to upload the documents when you're trying to you know actually submit your application so uh, just go just make over like these folders and try to you know divide it like this like a uh, digital photograph for you and your spouse and I mean I'll just this is just an overview I'll go and explain it to you in detail uh, so you should have it for your spouse and yourself um, in this way and Similarly, the educational documents should all be in the uh, name of uh, your spouse and yourself. And apart from that, obviously, you have to um, upload the IELTS and the uh, WES certificate. However, it's not mandatory. I'll, I'll come to it later on. And let me just uh, brief you the overview uh, of this straight away. And here, I mean, just like this, you have to upload all the... Uh, all the uh, passport, uh, passport copies, you know, police clearance certificates for you and your spouse and your children as well. Uh, obviously, police certificate is not required for children less than 18 years of age, but medical certificates would be required. So you should have it accordingly. Uh, what I've made this, uh, like, if you're only two people, uh, one, uh, one is the primary applicant and the other one is the spouse. Okay, so moving forward. Let's see uh, digital photograph. You have to, uh, there's a certain specification for digital photograph. You have to follow that and you have to upload the digital uh, copy of the, of the, uh, of your photograph and, you know, photograph your spouse and the children. So the requirement here is like this, that uh, you have to, I mean, this is the specification. It should be uh, 35 mm to uh, cross 45 mm. And obviously you, you would go through all of this and, you would you need to uh, prepare a photograph you know to get click the photograph according to this specification only for you yourself and your children if any so just you know just scan the um, photograph or it's better get a digital uh, copy of it just please note over here that the this is needs to be a jpg 
uh, format it doesn't needs to be in the uh, in the PDF format so make sure that it's a digital copy it will be a it will be a better uh, option for that and the for the spouse obviously you have to you know click the photograph so it should be like this okay all right now moving forward the second is the educational documents now what have if you just see the requirements over here you will find out that they haven't asked for the IELTS certificate or the WES certificate because obviously they have the uh, they have the reference number for WES and WES also sends them uh, sends a copy of your uh, of your assessment to IRCC so they don't need it actually so that's why they don't ask it but it's recommendable uh, it's recommended sorry uh, that you should actually go on to upload all those uh, documents as well so it does ask only for the degree certificates but it's good if you have your mark sheets uh, it's just you know any other any other educational qualification whatever education qualifications you have you should upload it over here obviously uh, it will be valid only if uh, I mean the equivalent it is equivalent to the Canadian um, bachelor's or master's degree according to the WES or other organizations uh, educational assessment so you should actually do it like this I've tried to uh, make it obviously I can't you know show you my master's degree my certificate uh, or any other document so I have tried to uh, make it like this so you should have a, a master's degree uh, certificate just try to arrange it all the all these ones in in one in one PDF so master's degree certificate after that you should have uh, the bachelor's degree certificate if you have if you have PhD just, you know upload uh, that one as well then you should upload your ECA report however it is it hasn't been asked but you know if obviously you have it so what's the point of not giving it just give it so that you know if they won't come back to you in any ways asking for these documents so just give your IELTS report after that go for your master's first year mark sheet and the second year mark sheet and the uh, bachelor's first year mark sheet second year third year and fourth year so this should be the you know ideal way I mean in this way it's actually pretty arranged right so any any um, investigating officer who is actually looking forward to you know check your documents he won't find any trouble and smoother is the uh, documentation the easier it will be for the assessment officer on the, or the investigating officer to find your uh, to, to you know to check out everything and issue your permanent residency so this way you should arrange your spouse education documents as well okay moving on uh, after that the employment documents the most important one so let's see what all employment documents are required uh, so obviously it asks only for the reference letter and it says that uh, you must scan all documents of this period of employment and save them on one file so it says specifically over here that it should be one file you know there shouldn't be many different files what's important to note here is that uh, they've said that uh, you must provide your proof of work experience for your current job and for each past position you listed so if there has been any promotion you do have to upload the you know the documents for that and you have to divide it I'll show you how, to, how you should do it so uh, I'll just and obviously you have to submit documents for yourself and your spouse so let me just go through the first one so let's suppose that I mean this is just an example let's suppose that you know you started working from 2010 uh, February month of 2010 and uh, you were working in work, one organization and then you switched your organization and moved to the other in the first organization I assume let's say that uh, again this is just an example that you weren't promoted over there so you should give the reference letter of company one after that you should uh, give the offer letter of company one only reference letter is required mind it only reference letter is required but if you have the additional documents I mean uh, the those are those will be only with the add-ons and it, this will definitely help in the assurance that I mean in uh, the investigating uh, officers assurance that you actually were working over there and there's no dicey situation over here so just give the reference letters this is uh, you know everybody does that and there's there's no harm in doing that in fact there'll be more benefits so just give the uh, company one offer letter company one joining letter company one promotion letter if there was any 
and the salary slips if you have any i mean if you don't have it don't worry about it these documents are not not required as i said only the reference letter is required please make sure if you don't have the reference letter in that case you should give the um, give the affidavit and the you know declaration by your colleague as i you know mentioned in the other video okay now you have to organize it in the order of uh, different companies on the time span so let's say uh, from the second from the february of 2013 you started working in the other organization so for that you should give the company two reference letter and uh, company to offer letter company to joining letter tax documents if in case any and the i mean obviously for that period you don't need to give the salary slips so just limit it to uh, these many documents just try to divide it in this particular format because as you just saw that they have actually asked it that they should be in the uh, past position should be listed over there sorry so you should uh, take care of that okay similarly uh, after that you should you know give the company reference letter company to promotion letter because now you are declaring that you were getting uh, you know you know you got promoted after this period so you should give your promotion letter and your uh, tax doc uh, tax documents for uh, that time span okay now moving forward again uh, let's say you were uh, you were working in the same company till date and so you just have to give the reference letters uh, company offer letter again i mean these are not required now because they should be uh, they should actually be go in uh, in this document over here where what you should give here is the uh, company promotion letter and the uh, salary slips these are the only thing which you should, which you should give you should probably give the you know last 6 months of uh, salary slips and that should be enough because actually all those documents are not required what's important what's the most important document is the reference letter and should be in the exact format that uh, that IRCC has prescribed so you should have the reference letter at the top of all these letters all these letters should have the reference letter at the top because you know if uh, the investigating officer needs to check out the other documents he can scroll down and he can check out the other documents but if he needs to check only the reference letter he is good enough okay so in this way you should do it for your spouse as well please make sure again that you arrange it in this particular order so that it will be more easier more smoother uh, process for the uh, investigating officer he can easily check out the documents and he won't waste time in you know in sorting them out okay now moving on a letter of explanation so so you know not that you have to submit a letter of explanation for any you know anything that you are trying to explain to them any you know things with the proof of funds or anything other you have to give a letter of explanation this is very important document actually and i try to make another video for that because here you can you know explain any discrepancy that you feel that you know uh, that the investigating officer might uh, think about you you can explain it over here so that you know there is no discrepancy there is no doubts in the mind of the uh, investigating officer so this is an optional document but you should definitely provide it and you know if there is any any kind of confusion you feel is over there okay now the marriage and divorce certificate you can also you know if you have a child you have to give the birth certificate as well so you can give the birth certificate so of course this marriage certificate would be one for both of you so uh, you just just you know convert it just scan it and then you know convert it into pdf and just upload it like this moving on to the medical certificate medical certificate would be different for everybody so you should just you know give the uh, proof of medical exam and just like this you'll be given a receipt from after you complete your uh, medical examination just upload it over here it will have your photograph and however they would have uh, the complete details to the you know electronic system they have and they would just check your reference number here whichever number is given in this slip over here and they would check it through the through the e medical uh, system so this should be done for you your spouse and your children let's see what are this, the requirements for that so just go through the requirements you know wh whichever are there because it it is mentioned this is the screenshot officially taken from the um, from the website of uh, the IRCC so you can just check it out and the of course after coming on to the passport you have to upload the passport for all the um, family members your spouse yourself and the 
kid as well so it says specifically that you know it should mention all of these details and it should have it should cover all the pages with visas stamps or markings what i suggest is that you know uh, just upload all the documents just scan all the pages and uh, upload all the documents so you'll find you know the just passports first page and the last page are the most important ones because they do contain all the uh, necessary information after that straight away you know uh, start uploading all the pages of all the documents uh, of all the uh, you know of all the passports actually if you do have the other passports as well you should upload the uh, pages different pages for the old passports as well okay this is very important to uh, mention here that you should not miss any other um, any page where there's a visa or a stamp from the uh, immigrate immigration officer of any country when you traveled because you have to provide your your travel um, history as well and they can, i mean i don't, don't think so that they, they do actually go on to match every page but yes uh, you know they can do it so you know because you're not making any mistake you know you're not you're not lying to them so uh, you should not you know skip any page over here okay now uh, police certificate of course you should have the uh, police certificate for all the countries so let's suppose you were there in the uh, in two or three countries so in that case you should upload the police certificate for all the countries so just like this just make it in one pdf and upload it okay uh, now after that it should be done for the spouse as well obviously uh, maybe your spouse hasn't been to all the countries with you so in that case he should upload to all those uh, you know cert police certificates of all those countries where your spouse was there you know before or after the marriage in the last 10 years and whatever is the uh, actually the criteria for police certificates okay right proof of funds so uh, let me just uh, check the requirement for this for the police certificate as well it, this is multiple because of uh, different countries so it is actually listed all the requirements are listed over here and you'll check to, you'll get to see this particular format after you accept the application so just you can go on to do that okay now the uh, proof of funds let's check the requirements so obviously it should have uh, it doesn't ask for you know for much for many things actually and it does ask for uh, the the letter from your uh, bank the letter the bank of the bank statement rather not the bank statement actually the bank letter which should have uh, the details of your account numbers your loans you know each accounts the minimum uh, the the average balance in the past uh, six months and things like that you know uh, what are the details required if you don't know i've made another video you can check it out and so you know in this in this uh, PDF over here, you should have the bank letter, which should be the first one, and after that, you should have the six months, you know, bank statement. And this is not mandatory again, but definitely it will help you. I mean, they can come back and they can ask you for these documents if they doubt anything. But you know, it's good to to save time and you know any confusions. You should go on to upload these documents. So she have six months of your bank account. And after that, receipt of any transactions, if applicable. So let's suppose you are, uh, you don't have it, you don't have the enough money in your account, and you do uh, want to just upload it. So what should you do in such a case? So uh, you should take care of the uh, different, you know, things like the mutual funds. If you have actually liquidated the money from the uh, from the mutual funds, you should actually have a receipt for that. After that, uh, just in case you do feel that uh, you know if she sold any jewelry or anything like that you should have a proper receipt for that so that you know they don't get any uh, they don't feel anything for this okay after this the gift deed letter so if you haven't got the proof of funds you should obviously have the gift deed uh, over here and the affidavit and the check whatever is required if uh, also the you know national id proof for the gift for your parents or the relative whoever has Give it, it to you and the talk tax document. So you should try and upload all these documents in just one single PDF, just like this. Okay. Now let me show you how you can actually go on to check uh, to which all uh, you know softwares you can use. You can do it online. It's a very simple thing. Uh, okay. All right. So 
just go to google and type combine pdf you'll find many softwares you can do it online and you can also do it offline so let's just let me just open a couple of uh, the websites over here so there's a software you can see over here you can download it and then what you can do is you can upload the documents in the offline version of that software and arrange it in the sequential order you want and then you can one get one combined file similarly in this website and there's so many websites for this you can use any of them just upload it if you want to do it online if you're not if you don't feel very comfortable doing it or online you can do it offline through the software as well and you know in this way you can get the combined um, PDF file just make sure of the correct order it's very important to realize that you know the simpler and the you know this the simpler actually your uh, documentation is the easier it is to understand for the investigating officer the lesser time it would actually take uh, for him to approve the PR for you so guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video I hope this video would be helpful to you if you arrange the documents in you know these kind of orders it would be definitely be beneficial to you so many guys we were asking for this video so I decided to make this video for you if you feel that this video will be helpful to any of you guys please share it with them if you like this video please click the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe it right now